Hi everyone, I'm Misha from Made Up Research and today I'm going to be showing you my barrier caring skincare routine. Sometimes my skin doesn't feel the best and this is one of those routines that kind of helps it restore its moisture, its texture, its plumpness and just put it into like a reset state. And also it is a little bit more of a complex routine. So if you ever wondered how to incorporate more things into your routine and you weren't sure how to like stack them and what can you and cannot use, this is a routine for you. Let's start off by saying that I did already cleanse my face because I don't like doing this on camera. I don't really have a good setup, but I did use the Bioma Milky Oil Cleanser. This is a brand I'm gonna be mentioning a couple times in this video because it's one of my favorite brands for barrier repair. It's their main focus. In this cleanser in particular, we have some barrier lipids, squalon and moringa seed oil. It's a great cleanser. It's really nice for removing your makeup as well. I didn't have any makeup on today. So I just kind of cleansed off all my skincare SPF whatever dirt and sweat was on the face as well because I wanted to be gentle to my skin and because I feel like this is perfectly effective I just used this with my makeup eraser towel and there we go we got a nice clean prepped face great thing about oil cleansers is that they don't really strip your skin so your barrier is not getting damaged more than it should be and you're just all ready to go ahead and apply some more products to your face I want to start off with toner of course. I'm going to be using my Haro Haro Wonder Toner. I feel like I use this all the time and that is because it's very very good. <laughs> it is really simple, really hydrating, kind of a thick water toner that just makes my skin so nice and bouncy and hydrated and just overall I feel like this is a great step to basically any routine. So that's why I want to use it in today's routine as well. It is hydrating, it helps your skin retain moisture and you also have some nice antioxidants in it and fermented ingredients so it's definitely helping the barrier a little bit as well. So that's why I would definitely recommend it. With this kind of routine, when you want to restore your barrier and calm your skin down, you want to look for things that don't have many harsh actives, you know, very stressful ingredients for your skin. So you don't really want to go in with any retinols, with anything exfoliating, with anything too aggressive. You just want to keep it kind of low-key and just very simple for your skin to deal with. So one thing that I also want to use and I almost used up is the Tacobo Bifida Biome Essence. This is an essence with some lactobacillus, which is also supposed to help your barrier. I always have to rotate it so I get some like last bits of it. It's almost empty but you need just a tiny bit. It is like this nice thick jelly essence. It feels great on the skin. It makes your skin feel really good. It helps to restore the barrier as well and the microbiome on it so it's a wonderful wonderful essence it is kind of pricey and also it's not necessary to use an essence in your routine but it is something that i like to do if i want that extra layering extra hydration extra care you know just something additional to whatever i'm already doing so this is the essence with these routines when you're kind of layering a little bit more heavy products and there's quite a few of them you want to go slow, you want to take your time, and you want to let everything sink in as much as it can be. So as you can probably tell, my skin is pretty dry now. You can still see the shine from the essence and from the toner. And I'm going to continue with an eye cream. When I'm doing this kind of routine, I like to go in with like a very simple eye cream that's going to just be moisturizing, nothing too, you know, extreme, no retinol. I'm just going to use my Laneige Eye Sleeping Mask. This is a really nice eye cream. You kind of massage it in with your little applicator. Stab yourself in the eye like I just did, but it's a really nice eye cream. It keeps your eye area nicely moisturized basically all night and I just love it so much. So I just massage this on with the applicator and then I kind of go a little bit and tap it in and there we go. This makes your under eyes beautiful, you hydrated, looking way better. <laughs> So if you have dry under eyes, I would definitely recommend. Again, it's a little bit more pricey, but you get so much product and you really don't use a lot. So I would probably recommend it. Now we're going for the serums. I feel like serums and moisturizers are probably the most important part of all of this routine. So I want to go in with two serums. Again, not necessary, you do you. But I have two serums here that I would like to use for a situation like this when my skin needs a little restart. I have two serums, they're both called Calming Serum, <laughs> but this one is from Bala and it's with ceramides and it's moisturizing, it's very thick, almost like a lightweight cream. And then I have this one from Skinhead by Beauty Bay, which is with Centella Asiatica and some mushroom, which is supposed to be very calming and soothing to the skin. Now I'm going to go in with this one first because it's lighter and there's always the general rule that you should be using your most lightweight products first and then layer them on with more heavy products. So I'm gonna start with this very lightweight serum. 
Again, I'm going to give it a little time to sink in, to mesh with everything else I have going on. And then I'm going to go in with this calming serum from Bala, which is a lot more thick. And I do quite like it, but just for very, very specific times like this one, where I really need like a very thick and heavy serum that's going to restore the skin. So again, I'll massage that in. This one is a little bit heavy on the skin, so I probably wouldn't recommend it if you have very oily skin. But for my dry skin friends, yeah, I would definitely recommend it. And now the moisturizer, which is very important in this case because you want to keep everything in. You want to keep the skin moisturized. If you have any additional great ingredients, then I'll go help you moisturize, retain moisture, repair the skin, calm the skin, anything like that. It's a good sign. So you can go in with basically any moisturizer. You can go in with oil if that is your thing as well. Very much not my thing, but I do have three moisturizers I want to show you, which I think are amazing for barrier repair and are just... First one I want to talk about, which is kind of disgusting because it's a little old, is the Thirst Class Rich Moisturizer with Oatmeal and Oat Lipids. This is also from Beauty Bay. This is their very thick, rich moisturizer, which helps me so well. Like anytime my skin is really rough, textured, red, irritated, bad. This just restores it like during one night and it's incredibly moisturizing. It's just really nice. It feels so good. We're not talking about lightweight, you know, quickly sinking moisturizers today. We want to repair the skin. and want everything we just put on to just stick in there and just do its thing. And this is a great moisturizer for that. The second one I want to talk about is the Ultra Sensitive Barrier Care Cream, also a ceramide. This is also from Balea, and it is a great, great barrier repair cream. It is very affordable. It is also not super thick. Yeah, so this is like a really good affordable recommendation if you're looking for something heavier that's going to take care of your barrier as well. And then the last one I want to talk about is the Barrier Plus Repair Treatment from Bioma. This is currently like my favorite barrier repair cream. It has barrier lipids, avocado oil, ectoin, and squalene. So again, retaining the moisture in the skin, calming it down. Just everything, you know, the repairing. I think I probably like this one the most at the moment, but it's also the most expensive out of these three, so, but still quite affordable. But I do love it and I would definitely recommend it. Just to give you an idea of the thickness, I'm going to swatch them for you so you know. This is the Beauty Bay Moisturizer, which is kind of a thick, thick layer. You can see it's almost like glass on the skin. Then I'm gonna take the Balea Moisturizer which is a little bit less thick. It's more more gel-like and definitely doesn't give you a strong of a layer. It's it's hard to see, but it's definitely it's definitely more lightweight even though it's hard to see. And then we have the Bioma Repair Cream, which is pink. <laughs> and this one is also very thick, but in like a very different way. So it's also a little bit less dewy, more dry, but they're all definitely kind of similar regarding the texture. Also, maybe that's because the ingredients are kind of similar, the function should be, so it's not that big of a difference. I'm gonna go in with the Bioma now, and I'll just put that everywhere on my skin. If I feel like it's not enough, I can always add a little bit more, but I like to start with like one to two pumps. So now my skin feels really nice, it feels really moisturized. It's not too heavy considering how many products I've used, it's still okay. It doesn't feel like I have a mask on my face. It's not gross. It's not peeling up. I think it's mostly because I'm taking my time and letting the stuff sink in. And also, I kind of know how much to use. Because sometimes if you just blindly follow this kind of routine, it's going to be too much for you. So listen to your skin, see how it feels, see how it works. And if this would be too much for you, then don't use it. You know, skip out the other serum, skip out the essence, skip out the heavy moisturizer, put on a lighter one. You have to kind of, you know, figure out what works for you. But for me, this is a routine that's going to make me wake up tomorrow with the most beautiful, dewy, plump, hydrated skin that's going to be way less red than it is now, way less irritated. And if I had any texture, the texture would be definitely reduced a bit because my skin just gets very textured when it's irritated. So yeah, this may have helped you if you were looking for some inspo when it comes to products, ingredients, order of the products. I don't even know, <laughs> but regardless of that. So thank you very much for watching, like this video and subscribe if you want to see more and I will see you on the next one. Bye.